Well, let's remember it has now been more than four years since Wanda Jeter was named in a complaint that was sent to the State Elections Enforcement Commission and then referred here to the Chief State's Attorney's Office in June for possible criminal charges. As of right now, there have been no charges. There's been no arrest. And so in 2023, Wanda Jeter was seen doing the same thing again, this time caught on camera. We've all seen the video. The eyes of the nation are on Bridgeport right now. City worker Wanda Jeter putting stacks of envelopes into the absentee ballot drop box. With no action from the chief state's attorney's office, the group Fight Voter Fraud decided to take matters into their own hands. Every citizen of Connecticut should be outraged right now. We first introduced you to the group in November when it leveraged an obscure law to try to force an arrest. An update. Judge Thomas Welch denied the arrest warrant, saying the law is unconstitutional because it allows for an arrest warrant to issue without providing a vehicle for prosecution and relies on a standard of less than probable cause. Where do you go from here? Uh, to the Connecticut Supreme Court. Fight Voter Fraud invited Fox 61 inside its headquarters for an exclusive look at its research operation. Show us what we're looking at here on this wall specifically. <sighs> on this wall specifically are Connecticut obits that we've researched. The group is working to clean Connecticut's voter rolls of dead voters, those who voted twice or in the wrong town. There's a wall of three inch thick binders devoted to Bridgeport. As we look around your office, it seems like almost nothing is digitized. You know, I'm sure you do online research, but everything's hard copy, everything's paper. Why is that? because we want to leave a paper trail about what we're doing. In fact, anyone can go to the town registrar's office and ask to see the work they've done, which they say isn't taken seriously by state officials. How do you break through that wall? With us coming out with the tangible evidence. State officials told us they can't explain why Wanda hasn't faced any legal action. I obviously have no control over either the investigations or the court system. But added four years is too long. I think all election-related cases need to be adjudicated very quickly. Fight Voter Fraud says that they remain confident that the appellate court or the state Supreme Court will overturn the Superior Court judge's decision. I also received a call back today from Wanda Jeter's attorney. He simply said, no comment. And just a moment ago, we received a brand new statement from the chief state's attorney's office. It doesn't say much, only, quote, I can tell you the matter is being investigated and that it would be inappropriate at this time to comment further on a pending investigation. For now, we're live outside the Chief State's Attorney's Office in Rocky Hill. Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.